We're Si and Anne, otherwise known as Slaw and Mrs Slaw. In this series, we're driving round the wild Atlantic Way, around the west coast of Ireland in our motorhome. We visit stunning beaches where the dogs love to have a run around. Every day and every corner, the scenery is breathtaking. The roads around the Dingle Peninsula are so narrow and scary. We love a drop of the black stuff. So come along with us and enjoy our adventures. See if we can take the dogs. If we can't take the dogs, we're not going. We're not giving money to people if they can't be nice. No. See what happens. There's just slows on it. Let's read the body language. Let's read his body language. Looks good. Looks like we're going. Who could say no to these? <laughs> Lassa Apso. Have you heard of them? Get a cliff. It's on private land, um, five euros each. Um, but you can bring the dogs. Yes! <laughs> dogs! So the dogs are coming for a walk. Just pick up your poo. It's not hard. So anyway, responsible dog owner. Anyway, good yeah. morning. Good morning. Day 13. Day 13. We stayed at Brayhead last night on Valencia Island and today we're going to complete the Ring of Kerry. And hopefully, and I know it's early, and Slow always talks about stuff like this, but maybe find a pub tonight. Ah, oh, you're like a stuck record. Well, I was in cliffs last I was in a car park over there last night, which was great. Onwards and upwards. We've just had a debate. Oh. Um, one of our subscribers said, make sure you go clockwise around the Ring of Kerry. I've not heard that one before. We went clockwise around the Dingle Peninsula. So let's have a little bit of research. And uh, the coaches, sorry, I'm having real problems with my fringe this morning. Um, the coaches have to go anti clockwise. So people are saying, go clockwise. So you're not stuck behind coaches and other people are saying go anti-clockwise so you don't have to pass the coaches we think because we're seven meter and three and a half ton we're going with the coaches don't we slow yeah so we think we're going to go around anti-clockwise oh. although we set off we've set off anti-clockwise and there are signs saying no coaches yeah maybe just on so. this stretch though because you've seen that hill we're going to have to go up well, here <laughs> yeah, uh, if you can see that up there, right? Let's get up here, and it's another beautiful day. Gorgeous. It's just about my size, this. <laughs> yeah. What do you do in these? I didn't live in them. Lived in them? That's what it says on the sign. Little. Doesn't matter which way I turn, the wind blows my hair the other way. I'm having a bit of a mare this morning. Holy moly. Wow. Woo. Wow. Hi. 
Looks it. I'm just a walking the dog. Z. Z. Holy schmoly. And this is soft ground. Gulimops. Going to the top now. Um. Meaning? It's windy. Yes. Extra caution, don't get blown off the cliff. <laughs> that bit's breaking away. Cracking concrete. To me, being a plumber, spells movement. Oh dear. Where, where are we? Skelly. Kerry Cliffs. Kerry Cliffs. Overlooking the Skelly Islands. Done. <laughs> See if we can get back. Kerry Cliffs. Done. Up the hill. Let's go. Safely down the hill. Oof, a bit steep that. Yeah, I was clinging onto my seat for dear life. <laughs> yeah, a little bit steep. Chocolat! Just for Mrs. Slaw, not for Slaw. Smell that. Chocolate heaven. This is slow straight in. <laughs> I'd love to work here. To go with your coffee, do you want mint or orange? Ooh, uh, to go with coffee? Yeah. Orange. Orange. That's the one I picked up. Okay. It's called the hazel of brownie. Mmm, that's lovely. Mm. That's very nice. It's called champagne. There's a nice bit of champagne in that though. Oh, that's lovely. Nice isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I like that one. We'll have 40 bars of that. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Let's probe that one. It's going to be all chocolatey out here. <laughs> that's Moorish, that, isn't it? Mo more. Moorish. He wants more of it. Oh. Moorish. <laughs> no, no, I don't want any more, but I mean, it's more. Yeah. Yeah, I've got that one. Bit of marshmallow. That one's that one. That's the, uh... Oh, we got that. We knew that. Oh, look at that. Man size, that one. So, look at that. Man chocolate. <laughs> man chocolate. Mm. I'm still eating my orange. Do you mind if we just show you, Shane? Yeah, yeah. There you go. This is Shane. Good man who's been uh, feeding his chocolate this morning. <laughs> Will do. Thank That's you, good. Shane. Thank you very much, Shane. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Chocolate. Done. <laughs>
too much chocolate. It's not all for me. We've no room at motor home now because Mrs. Slaw's filled it full of chocolate. It's not all for me. What have I got? One bar. And what have I got? One bar. Well, who's one got the rest? Me. Who's having the rest? Can't say. Gifts. was a good um, pulling for us because it had uh, glass and can recycling point, uh, black bin and a uh, dog waste bin. So we've managed to get rid of uh, all the detritus out of the garage yep. apart from cardboard and plastic. So we're, we're hanging on to those till we find another recycling point for that. Um, so yeah, good stop that. Nice spot. There you got a sign saying no overnight camping. Yeah. So. No good for you to stay there, but oh, there were toilets as well. Oh, hang on, jump. Whoa, oh, <laughs> way. Um, there yes. was a toilet block as well, there, wasn't there? Yeah, and a little cafe. And a cafe. Quite a big car park, two car parks. Yeah, children's play area. Yeah. But you can't stay. Don't overnight. Waterville. It looks an absolutely lovely place to park um, and, and stay and explore but unfortunately it's um, late morning when we're passing through so it's not one of our stops. Um, we'd just like to say thanks to uh, Gabs and Nikki who offered us uh, a, a parking place had we been passing through on an evening. Um, they've got a B&B &B down here called O'Brady's and we did actually see the sign as we drove through. We gave you a little wave um, if you saw us. Um, so, if you're in the area, um, O'Grady's, look up Gabs and Nikki. They're a northern couple who moved um, over here. So, thanks very much, Gabs and Nikki. Thank you. Now another wower to do, but Mrs. Slaw's seen an ice cream van. We've already stuffed his face with chocolate. <laughs> ice cream and, and chocolate for breakfast. His face with ice cream. <laughs> Lose weight on this holiday, we'll, she said. We'll soon be home and behaving again. I didn't ask you for one this big. So why have you got me you one You said the same big? as them have got. And that were a big one. No, Jesse. I was meant a 99. I've just seen the state of my hair in that window and I'm like a bloody banshee today. <sighs> Jesse, no. Jesse's seen a dog. Yes, there are other dogs on the planet. It'll take forever to eat this. 
ice cream was gone and one feels we feel sick now sick <laughs> serves us right for being greedy look at the car park view on this side as well stunning this is the kuma kesta pass place for Daniel O'Connell, the liberator and father of the Irish independence movement. Scratch, you got a scratch. Itch. When you've got an itch, you've got a scratch. Yeah. When you've got when you yes. I came out of nowhere, didn't it? Oh, there looks like to be some services at that end. Is it a drop at bottom? We've just pulled into the um, petrol station in Kemar and spotted a motorhome services air uh, there. So here we go, we'll show you what there is. You've got your washing machines, you've got a uh, grey water drop, Slaw's doing the loo, zoo, Tommy two toilets. Um, you need to go inside and pay four euros and they give you um, a code to get into here to empty your loo. Uh, but if you just look inside, that's your fresh water there next to the drop so we won't be filling up with fresh water here <laughs> and there you go that's your four euros but um great little facility um right in the middle of kenmar which we didn't know was here if i'm saying kenmar right might be kenmare <laughs> I may be staying, I may be going, 
Shut up, we're wet. Light. A little show. I'll be telling the truth. Okay? Why didn't, yeah, why didn't you put your coat on? Because I'd already run down the road, haven't I? <laughs> so I'm already soaked. Putting your coat on is like getting it bath with your coat on, isn't it? Come on. You know what I'm saying? Right. Whoosh, whoops, forwards. Let's go. Tables are good, by the way. Is she fit for you? Not real good. I don't know. It's a table car, I don't know. Jersey, done. There's the island, done. Right. As much as we can, because we can't go on to it. How oh, well, them cars got over there? There must be a boat as well, goes across. It is. Five o'clock. Raining. Blowing a hoolie. Blowing a hoolie. So, we don't find a pub. We have Guinness on board. Mm -hmm. It ain't the same. No, nope, it's not. We've just found a tractor. Just found a tractor. I know it's going up there. I'm going nope. in there. Right. I'm going in there. It's going in there. It's so far. Slow's pub search is on. Let's see how he gets on. No, Dave's been here. Oh, no, Dave. He's the man. It's a viewpoint. Slaw's failed on his uh, pub. Bleeding shut, innit? Yeah, that's a shame. Wild Atlantic Bar in Andrigal advertises food served daily. Yeah. So, is, it, is it served? Food served daily, not to daily, though. Not to daily, no.
this wind has played absolute havoc with my hair. Ow! Ow! So, I've got my eco flow. I'm just going to run straightness through it before we go into the hotel. It's a madhouse. <laughs> Ta-da! Absolutely brilliant. That eco flow, so I can just use my hair dryer and my straighteners when I want when we're off grid. One happy girl. <coughs> it's only used 1% of the battery, so even better. And now we're going to go outside in the rain and <laughs> it's all going to frizz up again. Now we're going to the hotel bar. See if we've got any Guinness. For you, I might have a glass of wine. To make me a bit more rotund than I am already. Oh, need to put gas on for the fridge. Have right. you done that? No, I've been busy. Right, best do it then. You've got a tail, let me cut that off. Pardon? Cheers. Cheers. Guinness time. I've got a sad blanc. In the hope of seafood. No seafood on the meal. Mm. Haven't even looked at menu yet. map we started in Muff and we're driving all the way around the west coast of Ireland along the wild Atlantic way down to Kinsale. On day 13 we camped at uh, Brayhead on Valencia Island on the Ring of Kerry and we left there in the morning and came around here uh, the, the, the Ring of Kerry then around the Beira Peninsula and stayed at the Water Lodge Hotel, is it Water Lodge? Yeah, Water, Water Lodge. Lodge Hotel in Bantry. So that's the big map. So we've just got this last little section to do on the next um, couple of days. So if we look at, at my planning and see how we've progressed. So day 13 was yellow and we stayed at Bray Head and we did the yellow section to Bantry. So we are absolutely bang on for day 14 which is going to be the blue section and if we look at the detailed map to show you where we went don't forget this is the book that you need if you're going to do the wild atlantic way the root atlas because it's really really good we left Brayhead down through Port McGee the Kerry Cliffs they were absolutely stunning the drive through me through the Cumin Aspic Pass was uh, an awesome drive. Down to oh, don't forget the chocolate factory, chocolate factory, chocolate, chocolate. Down through Ballinskelligs Bay, around Waterville, which looks a beautiful looks a beautiful little town. Through the Cumacesta Pass, which again was um, <laughs> hairy in places. Through Sneem, out to Kenmar, Kenmare, still don't know how you say that and came down this road. We went up to the Kilmakilloge viewpoint, which was another hairy bit. And then down around the Bera Peninsula, um, past the Dunneen viewpoint, out to Dersey Island. Couldn't go across to Dersey Island because the cable car is broken. Slaw was so disappointed about that. He really wanted to go on that. Hmm. <laughs> Round past these uh, towns, through Castletown Bear, tried to get um, a pub stopover at Adrigal at the Wild Atlantic Bay Hotel, but it was shut, so we carried on. Couldn't see anything in Glengariff that caught our fancy, so we came around through Bantry to the Water Lodge Hotel. That was uh, 157 miles, um, so another uh, really... Um, long drive for slow and uh, quite a difficult drive yesterday as well i think it's probably the most difficult stretch that slow do you mm. yeah so we stayed last night water lodge hotel it's 10 euros to park and they've got all the facilities so we're going to um service helga before we move on billy and jesse have had a lovely walk around the grounds this morning they are beautiful and we found the fairies 
We did the fairy trail, which was lovely. And now they're tired. So, if you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up. If you want to come with us for the rest of our adventures along the Wild Atlantic Way, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to be notified of when we upload more vlogs, don't forget to ring that bell. You can catch us on Facebook and Instagram for real-time updates. And if you see us out and about, you could play... Spot the Slaws. And you could be in with a chance of winning one of our lovely mugs if you tag Ooh. us in social media. Ooh. Ooh. So, we're going to set off now on day 14. So, until next time, friends. Bye. Bye. Bye.